Warning! Tube amplifiers have lethal voltages inside them. Please do not attempt to build, test, or repair these without understanding and following all safety protocols. Hey y'all! Well this is going to be a really short video showing you the physical changes that we did to the final tweaks on this amp from the build video. And we basically changed three resistors. I'm going to show you what those three are. And then if you want to try the LED resistor series combo that I ended up liking, I'm going to show you how that's done too. We went from the carbon film resistors that were in the original JE Lab schematic to my favorite go-to resistors, which are these Vichy PRO2 2-watt metal film resistors. But I did end up backtracking and putting the carbon film resistor back in the grid leak, which seemed to be just kind of a great final compromise to get nice detailed sound without it being fatiguing. The carbon film on the grid leak kind of took the edge off of the metal films in the other position. You can experiment around and see which way you like it. You may like it with the carbon films in there. So you may want to order carbon films and the metal films and play around with it yourself. But I'm going to show you where these resistors are, how I did the resistor LED combo, and I think that's kind of going to be it for this whole series. This thing with these PS vein tubes sound fantastic. Got 6SL7, 2A3, these are all Horizons, and then this is a Horizon 274B, which electrically is basically a 5U4. So, anyway, super great tubes, sound great with this amp voice this way, and especially if you're using these Haybuer transformers and all this stuff, I think this is just a great combination. So, let's get to the mod video and show you how I did it. Okay, let's go over what we did voicing the amp, trying to get the clarity that I was looking for. It just was a little soft sounding. So the first thing I did is I pulled out, this is the final modded channel. This was the first mod I did. I came in here and you can see this, there's a, resistor here 2.2k that goes between the plate and the cathode of the 6SL7. Replaced it with a Vichy metal film and same thing here I replaced the little green carbon film Kwame resistor 2.2k with a Vichy metal film. Same thing here with the grid leak resistors. Put metal film one watts, these are two waters, and that really perked up the sound. Honestly, I was shocked at the difference that it made going from a carbon film to a metal film resistor, but it just still wasn't quite there. It was missing that air sparkle on the top end that to me really defines a revealing amp. And I tried some tube rolling, and I felt like it was just something the amp was fighting itself. It just didn't sound right. I mean, honestly, it did sound really good. But we're not looking for really good. We're looking for great. And so the next thing I did was I removed this cathode bypass cap and this 2.2K resistor. And then there's a jumper wire that goes from the cathode of the first triode, that's the lower half of the SRPP. There's a jumper wire that goes from here to here. And I wired this up like I did as I was anticipating going to a resistor LED combo. So I did the math and got the 1.9 volts across this 2.2K resistor and that calculated up the milliamps. I'll put it up here in the corner. I can't remember exactly what it was, but anyway, it came out to getting this same cathode voltage. I needed approximately a 300 ohm resistor. So we put 
from this tag strip to the cathode. Put a 270 ohm resistor. I didn't have a 300, but this is close enough. And then I went from here to the ground with this red LED. And I'm fixing to do this on the other side. And that got this amp where I want it. It sounds really good now. And still going to do some tube rolling. Right now I just have a whole set of PS Vane Horizon tubes in it. Both the 2A3 and the 6SL7. I want to play with the EML tube more. I got some new old stock 6SL7. Mark's sending me over a box full of different new old stock 6SL7s to play with. But the circuit's done. I'm super happy with the way this thing sounds now. So let me mod up this other channel. And this looks like a good place to wrap up this whole series. And I will be publishing the bomb soon with a schematic. And this is why I wait to publish the bomb and the schematic till I'm finished tuning the amp. And this thing sounds really sweet now. So like I said, looks like a great place to wrap up this video. Well, as you can see, wasn't a big change. Just those few resistors. And this amp is so simple as far as how many parts are in it. It's part of the reason those parts make such a difference. Plus, there's zero feedback. And so everything impacts the sound. I do feel like that I kind of hit a sweet spot putting the metal films where I did and then leaving the carbon film or putting the carbon film back on the grid leak, which if you're doing this mod, you can just leave that in there and hopefully you'll see this before you build yours and you'll go, oh, okay, I'll just put the metal films there and the carbon film there and I'm done. And the bomb on the website reflects these recent changes and oh i forgot to add the led and the resistor for that i need to go back and do that anyway i'm glad i'm thinking about this i'm horrible with bombs it's not one of my strong suits and i really hate doing them it's a very time consuming thing to create but as soon as i finish up a project i get 10 emails where's a bomb i need to see a bomb i can't build it without a bomb you know so i've learned i've just got to make them and there's always an error or something left out of them. So anyway, I'll go back and fix that. But schematics correct. I know that's right. And this just turned out to be a really sweet sounding amp. This full boat or whatever you want to say of like uh, PS Vane Horizon tubes. Like I said in the last video, I did a lot of tube swapping and rolling and stuff. And honestly... Guys, this set of tubes sounds the best of all the ones I've tried. And they do have some Acme tubes being sent, which I will check them out, do a future video, A, B, and them to these Horizon tubes. But yeah, this does definitely sound really good. And I'm going to be selling these. I've got parts coming to build a couple more of these. I've got actually both of those sold. And so, if you're interested in one, send me an email. One of them I'm building for a guy is kind of a custom deal where we've got no tube rings, no volume control. He wants to run just the RCA jack straight to the tube so he can drive it with his preamp. Once the transformer's left black, and yeah, I can do stuff like that, but those custom kind of bills require a 50% non-refundable deposit. And... When I build custom stuff like that, that's not just the mainstream normal, the normal ones are going to look like this. I really have to get a non-refundable deposit so that if you change your mind, I'm not stuck with something that other people may not want. And I think like this would sell fine. So anyway, that's kind of the deal on how I do my orders. And I think people are going to be really happy with this amp. And if you build one, I think you will be too. So this has been a really fun series. It honestly was fairly easy. And it's nice to do a project that didn't fight me from start to finish. It was just a little tweak in there at the end to get it really sounding nice and getting it all kind of balanced between fatiguing and being nice and detailed. And that's kind of a, a balancing point. You may have to fool around with the resistors a little bit with your speakers. If it sounds a little bright, you can 
put some carbon film resistors in like the either the cathode or in the middle of the SRPP and that'll kind of tone it down and if it's needs a little brightening up you can put a metal film back on the grid leak resistor on the output tube so hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have if you did please subscribe to the channel please like the video thanks to all you patreon supporters and all you other folks that support the channel and your dolly up there dreaming barking um yeah thanks for you folks that watch the channel regularly Definitely appreciate you folks that make donations at the website. I have quite a few people when they get done building one of my projects. They're like, hey, thanks for publishing all this stuff for free. And give me a little donation. And I know not everybody can afford that, but if you can, it is appreciated. And time to start working on our 300B build. Until the next video, have a nice day.